Americans have a long history of using native plants for a wide variety of medicinal purposes. Let's take a walk and learn about three of the native plants that the Musquamskeck tribe used. Take a look at these rose hips. They were an important food for all native tribes. Wherever roses were found, they are super high in vitamin C, much more so than oranges. A pale pink tea can be made from them, which is quite acidic, but not as sharp as lemon juice. The brewed berries were not thrown away. They were used in soups and stews. This is sassafras. It does grow into a big tree, and the way you can tell a sassafras is because it has three different kinds of shaped leaves. The bird's foot, the mitten, and I like to call this one the egg. Early explorers and settlers in the New World were told by the Indians that sassafras was a cure-all and it was eagerly sought out and shipped to Europe. A tea made of the roots was used to reduce fever and induce initial appearance of the red rash of measles. The bark of the root was said to help arthritis, ulcers, and pain after childbirth. Sassafras oil was used to help bruises and swellings. This is witch hazel. Native Americans used the boiled bark and leaves to treat bleeding and inflammation. An extract of the leaves, twigs, and bark is used in mild astringent lotions. Also known as the devil plant, it was so named because it was said to be under a witch's spell because its flowers in the fall instead of the spring.